that's a very interesting question. If mental illness can be a good thing, there's a very simple answer to that, which is no. That's the simple answer, and that's an important answer, because to say of someone, oh, he's bipolar, for example, um, and he's suffering like hell, but that's good because it will, you know, it'll stimulate his creative juices. That's a very miserable way to view another human being, because to be in that condition. To be in that state of mind is an agony, and we should do all we can to relieve people of that because people people kill themselves um, because of mental illness. People's lives are ruined. So there's a simple answer, and it's a good answer, and the answer is no. Um, but that doesn't mean that we don't have all sorts of products and cultural achievements and contributions from people who've drawn on or been moved by or reacted against their mental illness in ways that have made them industrious, creative, and brilliant. So from a distance, you can say, uh, mental illness has yielded these incredible products for society and for humanity. But the cost is a really bitter one for the person. So I think we need to be a little bit careful about that sort of question. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't. Although, I would let someone else do it. It's one of those things, you know, um, Here's a very, a very simplistic analogy. I have a big de deformation on my, on my arm. It's a, it's a giant hairy nevus. It's a huge birthmark. Now, I can decide, you know, I've had doctors tell me I really need to get rid of it. I've had plastic surgeons tell me it's really ugly and I don't realize how people are judging me negatively because I have it right, when I was 16 or 17 years of age. Or I can say it's part of me. This is who I am. I'm not ashamed of it. In fact, I'm proud of it. Kids are curious, so I let them touch it. Now, so we can own parts of ourselves, and we can glamorize them for ourselves. So, you know, I know people who are a bit um, obsessional and compulsive. Um, you know, that's that can be a real misery, but they can also they can also decide to own it and make it part of their repertoire of skill. I know, I know an editor of a journal who's completely obsessional, and he says, you know. Well, because I'm OCD, I do this job really well. <laughs> That's his prerogative. Um, but no, I don't think we should glamorise any mental illness. And, uh, and we shouldn't be pejorative about it either. We should just see it for what it is.